The Dow now positive. It's at the highs of the day, 40 points up. And the S&P 500 up a third of 1%. Barbara, this is kind of a familiar pattern. We've had some attempts at weakness this week and then, and then a reversal. It, it does feel like the uptrend for this market is intact after four straight up weeks. Are, are, you, are you a growing believer that this could be something more lasting, perhaps in a bull market? Yeah, I absolutely am, Sarah. I think it's the, it is the early stages of a bull market that really started in mid-June. And I do, I'm not a believer in the bear market bounce theory. If you look at this current rally, we know why it's happened in terms of earnings expectations were way too low. That came in positively. Investors were under positioned. You know, but, um, you know, right now you've seen a broad based rally, which usually marks the start of a sustainable rally. And you also have um, the market going up or holding steady on bad news, like the China news on Monday and all sorts of other things. So that usually also is an indicator of a bottom being put in. So I think we've seen the lows. And I think right now a pause would be normal, given how fast we've come in such a short time in the S&P is up some 17%, although still down 10% on the year. NASDAQ is up 22%, and this is since mid-June I'm talking about, although that is still down 17%. And the market PE is at 18. So I think it would be normal here for investors to say, okay, what's going on? We've got the Fed meetings coming up, Jackson Hole next week, really how fast and how far will inflation fall? But I don't expect it to retest the lows. And I think if there's any give back, it'll be small. I think this is very positive action. And uh, there's a, still a lot of bearish cash sitting in the sidelines that needs to be put to work. Well, Barb, one, one reason that people, at least the bears, aren't fully convinced is the Fed. And new this afternoon, St. Louis Fed President James Bullard said he is leaning toward a 75 basis point hike next month, while saying that the market speculation over rate cuts is, quote, definitely premature. But at the same time, saying fears of a recession are also overblown. This coming in an interview with The Wall Street Journal, the market's currently giving about a 58 percent chance of a 50 basis point hike at the September meeting. So this is the risk, Barb, that, that the Fed goes even more than expected, not just in September, but into next year where the market is pricing in cuts. Isn't that a, a risk to the rally? Well, yes and no. I mean, I think the market is is pricing in the Fed continuing to raise rate. I think the Fed has done a great job by most accounts. The Fed has regained their credibility in the inflation fight. And I think that's what was interesting, though, in the Fed, the quote Fed speak of a day or two ago. And that was they reiterated their commitment to fighting inflation. But they also said, hey, we're going to be data dependent, which they said the last time. And to me, that is code for we do not want to overstep here and slow down um, uh, the economic uh, uh, situation too much. So which I think is actually a positive thing, because my, my feeling is the risk here is to the upside. Inflation could subside very quickly, uh, much more than, than people are expecting. Because if you look at the inflation of the last 10 years pre-COVID, the Fed had difficulty getting to 2%. Those forces are still very much in play, and that's about technology, automation the global supply chain. But we've had huge disruptions in demand and supply. And a lot of companies, including Cisco this morning, talked about how supply constraints are easing. And so that is that rebalancing is happening. And so it may just coincide, you know, with what the Fed is doing. And uh, they may, may need to uh, ease up sooner rather than later, but they are not about to until they see the whites of their eyes. So, you know, there is still lots of risk. And that's why a pause here would not be... Uh, it would not be surprising, given all the still the certainties that are still out there.